السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أسعد الله أوقاتكم جميعا ومرحبا بكم في اليوم العلمي الخاص بكلية إدارة الأعمال انطلاقا من أهداف الجامعة الليبية الدولية للعلوم الطبية واهتمامها بالأنشطة العلمية والثقافية وتنمية منتسبيها علميا وثقافيا تقوم اليوم كلية إدارة الأعمال بإطلاق اليوم العلمي الذي يتضمن سلسلة من العروض التقديمية الخاصة بالقضايا المعاصرة إضافة إلى البحوث العلمية في جميع التخصصات نستهل اليوم العلمي بكلمة يلقيها عميد كلية إدارة الأعمال دكتور صبري جبران الكرالي والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيد نبينا محمد النبي الكريم وعلى أصحابه أجمعين الأخوة والأخوات الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأسعد الله وقتكم بكل خير يسعدنا أن نلتقي بكم مجددا في اليوم العلمي الثاني لكلية إدارة أعمال جامعة الليبية الدولية للعام الدراسي 2021 حيث سنأخذكم في هذه الرحلة البحثية لعرض مشاريع الطلاب مشاريع التخرج خلال العام الدراسي 2021 ركز هذه الدراسات والأبحاث الطلابية على تقصي العديد من القضايا التي يعاني منها المجتمع الليبي واقتصاده وانعكاساتها على المجتمع بمؤسساته المختلفة ركزت على جوانب الاقتصادية والإدارية والمالية وغيرها من الأشكاليات التي يعاني منها الاقتصاد والمجتمع الليبي كما توصلت هذه الدراسات وهذه مشاريع التخرج إلى جملة من النتائج والتوصيات والمضامين التي نأمل أن تكون لها دور هام أو دور إيجابي في التخفيف من هذه الأوثار أو محاولة معالجتها ختاما نتمنى لكم مشاهدة طيبة مع هذه الأبحاث وأملين من الله عز وجل أن تكون حققت المبتغى منها والله ولي التوفيق والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone, my name is Susanna Yaqubi. I'm a student in the Department of Marketing in the University of the Libyan International Medical University. So today I'm going to be uh, show, showcasing my presentation about the consumer's attitude in Libya towards halal food imported from abroad. These are the table of contents. So first of all, as an introduction, in today's world, Muslims have been spread around in the, in the world, not like previous years. So uh, to, maintain, uh, to maintain their food supply chain, entrepreneurs have uptick the halal food uh, case uh, in certain regions around the world. Uh, as stated in the Holy Quran, as Muslims, we have uh, things that we were, uh, we were banned to eat, uh, starting from pork food uh, and, going on and moving on to things which were not uh, slaughtered or killed in animals uh, in the Islamic way. So the definitions uh, in this presentation we had was the definition of Islam, what does halal mean, uh, market, the attitude, and of, of course, as we can see, the halal logo which has to be imprinted on all the food that Muslims can intake. So uh, the research problem here was took in Malaysia uh, by Risa and Ismail in 2015, where they conducted the research about the youth or uh, youth in uh, Malaysia toward their attitude towards whether they do know what they're intaking or not. So this uh, case was t was took and then it was uh, redesigned to uh, to supplement or to to correspond with the Libyan uh, society. So the objectives for this uh, research was uh, to determine the consumer's attitude in uh, Libya towards halal food and uh, to investigate the consumer's attitude in different demog demographies in Libya. Uh, so here are the research hypotheses, which were exactly the same as the uh, uh, research objectives, but with the null and the alternative uh, cases. So the research importance here, we had the theoretical and we had the practical. So the theoretical par part was taken from previous studies. The practical uh, prospect of this research here highlights the awareness of the consumers in Libya, uh, which implements both the theoretical and practicals to reveal the level of awareness in Libya. So uh, the theoretical framework here, we have the Halal Research Council in Pakistan, which they undertook this uh, case whereby uh, they were analyzing the food, whether it was uh, up to the standard of the Sharia law and the Islamic law or not. 
So the literature review for this presentation, 20 papers were reviewed uh, regarding this uh, case study. Uh, all papers uh, came down to one conclusion, that there was a positive attitude towards consumers all around the world, Muslim consumers, uh, towards this case of uh, the awareness whether they do know what they're taking or not. So the research methodology here we have uh, was a closed-end questionnaire which was uh, spread on, on different uh, social media platforms. The research methodology uh, we used here was the five Likert scale where each respondent had a question from one to five whether they, tr they strongly agreed to, to strongly disagree. Uh, the data analyzed here was by uh, the IBM SPSS version 26. Uh, the data collection to tool, as I mentioned, we had a questionnaire which was in both in English and in Arabic. Uh, then the questionnaire here had two parts, the first part which was the, demog the demographic part, the second part which was the questions designed and supervised by Dr. Sabri and then launched on social media platforms. So uh, the data analysis for this, uh, th uh, for, for, for this presentation, uh, we uh, used a uh, different type of tests. We have Kolmogorov Sermova test here which was computed after proving the data uh, re in the research, which was non-parametric. Uh, then we used uh, three tests for the hypothesis, which we had the binomial, we had the Mann-Whitney, and the Kruskal-Wallis uh, tests. So uh, in the uh, instrument of the reliability here, uh, Cronbach Alpha was 0 0.952 for the 12 elements or the 12 questions conducted in the questionnaire, forming that the variables fall under the explementary level. The demographic information here, we had that uh, the females were more than the males uh, regarding the questionnaire. Uh, the ages from 18 to 30 were more. Uh, the, non the Libyan uh, respondents were more than the, non the non Libyans. Uh, we received the, sing the marital status of single respondents more than the others. Uh, people with the baccalaureate degrees or equivalent to it were uh, more. Uh, the salaries would, of 1,000 Libyan dinars or less were more. And here we had uh, 31 cities where Benghazi had received a total of respondents of 299 uh, from 395 as a total of respondents. Uh, so here the consumers' attitude in Libya towards halal food important and abroad. These are the questions that were presented in the questionnaire. Whereas we can see here in the ranking that they, uh, the consumers never hesitate to buy halal food uh, bought from abroad. So uh, here in the hypothesis testings here we, have, we, we had three factors which were higher than the others. Which were the uh, income salary here we had. Uh, where people with 5,000 billion dinars and more. We had uh, the age group from 30 to 50, and uh, we had the marital status. These people showed higher significance or higher awareness of attitude towards halal food than the others. So as a limitation for, those, for this research, we had that there was no previous uh, studies uh, conducted in Libya regarding this topic. Uh, secondly, the paper only focused on the dimensions of attitude and locked, lacked the knowledge of the consumers. And lastly, the samples here were not randomly distributed, where they were sent to friends and family and on, on social media platforms. So not all cities in, of Libya were, con were actually uh, con uh, concluded into the presentation. So the recommendations and implications that Muslim customers are very specific about the products that they intake. So, uh, the, so, so here in Libya, uh, which is already a Muslim country, in my opinion, if foreign manufacturers and organizations want to endorse Libyan consumers, the understanding of the culture and their perceptions is a must to guarantee the positive insight of the products that they're trying to inflect upon us inside Libya. Hello everyone, my name is Farah Limgasbi and today we'll talk about the effect of the marketing mix in consumer behavior, which is my topic of graduation product. These are my contents starting from introduction to the recommendation and application. 
As an introduction, the marketing mix is a set of strategies and techniques that businesses use to sell their product and price. Also, the marketing mix consists of uh, four elements, which are product, price, place, and promotion. The marketing mix helps managers, organizations, companies to understand the consumer buying process, which is the key to develop effective marketing strategies. These are definitions of keywords of my graduation project, which are product, price, place, and promotion. For the research problem, there is a lack of a previous paper in Libya about this topic. Also, this project will investigate the effect of the marketing mix in consumer behavior. These are my objectives. First, to, deter uh, to determine if the, which the marketing mix has an effect in consumer behavior in Libya, to determine if the product, price, place, and promotion individuals has an effect in consumer behavior in Libya. Finally, to, de to determine if there is any significant difference uh, among participants and uh, demographic information. These, uh, these are hypotheses. For the research important, this topic uh, studies the, this project study, studies the topic from two perspectives. As a theoretical perspective, this project will add knowledge about the consumer buying process towards goods and services. Uh, this uh, project provides a clear understanding of the factors that are more important from a consumer perspective. And finally, this project will help the managers, marketing uh, organization to develop effective marketing strategies. As the practical uh, perspective, this, uh, this project will be useful to all businesses, whether small or large businesses, also help to understanding their consumer wants and needs. For the theoretical framework, I talked about the Tasco supermarket uh, and how they use the uh, four elements of the marketing mix to differentiate themselves, their product, their service from others' competitors. Uh, the literature review, I review 20 papers, the old papers, uh, uh, agree, uh, the old papers discussing the same issue, which is the effect of the marketing mix in consumer behavior. The old papers uh, agree with the marketing mix have an effect in consumer behavior, uh, except one paper said only, pro uh, only product and price has an effect in consumer behavior. Uh, behavior. Okay. For the methodology, I use five-point Likert scale for the questionnaire, also use SPSS software version 25 for the statistical tool. To determine the correct sample size, I use Kersik and Mogren table. On the other hand, I received uh, 388 respondents. For the data collection, the, uh, the questionnaire divides into four sections. The first, uh, first section is the effect of the product, the second, the effect of the price, third, the effect of the place, finally, the effect of the uh, promotion. Uh, the, the original version of the questionnaire was in English language, then translated to the Arabic language. Uh, the questionnaire tested many times before to ensure was correct. According to validity, the questionnaire taken from uh, Giconi's paper in 2020 in Ethiopia, then Dr. Sabri edited it according to the Libya region. According to the rela uh, reliability uh, test, the old variables of this study wa uh, were high reliable. Uh, that mean, that's mean the outcome or the data of the questionnaire relied to achieve the goal of this study. For the data analysis, uh, as I mentioned before, I used uh, SPSS software for the statistical tool, used also the different uh, tests, uh, which are reliability tests, uh, frequency tests, binomial tests, normality tests, and a critical Y test. This, uh, this table uh, represents the demographic information analysis starting from genders, nationalities, age group, metro states, uh, education level, cities, uh, occupations, and finally the income of the respondents. For the uh, normality test, uh, indicate the all variables of this study were uh, significant add value than, uh, than 0 .0 0 0.05. Uh, that means the, the, the data of this study tend to be not normally distributed and follow non-parametric methods. These tables indicate the overall means of each section, first product, price, place, and promotions. Uh, for hypothesis testing, I use binomial test for overall, uh, market, uh, overall marketing mix, product, and price, place, then the promotion. 
also to testing if there any significant difference among the different uh, the respondents and demographic information i use menwenti test for for, uh, for two factors which are genders and nationalities Also use the uh, Chris, uh, critical walls test for uh, more than two factors, which are uh, genders, uh, educations, occupations, cities, and salary. As a result, the marketing mix has an effect in consumer behavior in Libya. The product has an effect in consumer behavior in Libya. The, pr uh, the price and the uh, place and promotion has an effect in consumer behavior in Libya. Uh, for the limitation, there is a lack of a previous paper in Libya about this topic. Also, the majority of uh, respondents were from Benghazi City. Finally, this project only focused on uh, four elements of the marketing mix. For the recommendation and applications, the impact of the marketing mix on the behavior of the Libyan consumer could be improved to developing uh, strategies for consumer uh, uh, convenience. Businesses and managers in Libya must uh, meet the needs and wants uh, of the, the consumers, uh, provide uh, competitive pricing, provide uh, different uh, products, provide, uh, improve their uh, uh, pricing strategies, also provide uh, different products to meet the marketing segment. And thank you. Uh, so my topic is entrepreneurial orientation in the case of online platforms owners. This is my table of contents. As introduction, entrepreneurship is a critical for both personal and economic growth. Entrepreneur is a primary drive for private businesses and private businesses is the primary drive for economic as a whole. Definition of entrepreneurial orientation is a sufficient strategic factor of a new venture due to its key role in the firm of growth and successful and success and financial performance. Uh, moving to the research problem, this research studies the ability of labor markets in Libya that depends on online platforms to work on inter entrepreneurial factor foundation or factors or not. Our research objectives, first, to measure the level of entrepreneurial orientation uh, for online platforms in Libya. Second, identify what extent there are significant differences among participant responses that can be attributed to demographic factors. Third, to put forward a recommendation and implication. As for research hypothesis, we have uh, two different research hypotheses. With the first one, measure uh, if is uh, an entrepreneurial orientation in Libya or not. The second one is uh, to see a significant uh, or level of significance in uh, the demographic informations. Research importance. Entrepreneurs are frequently regarded as national assets. Especially online platforms, entrepreneurship can alter the way we live and work. Uh, entrepreneurs generate jobs, uh, condition for successful society and money through their entrepreneurial endeavors. This is our literature review. 18 papers was used to assess the study as secondary data. The studies were mentioned are conducted between 1983 and 2021. The most of study were conducted in Asia and Europe. And finally, most of the studies agreed to measure the entrepreneurial orient orientation with the five dimension scale. Research methodology. This study adopts a quantitative method to develop a survey for entrepreneurial orientation exactly on online business owners in Libya. This is uh, the table, Morgan table, is used as a primary data collection tool. Uh, we take 100,000 as a number of population. Uh, our responded, uh, according to the table, supposed to be 384. As uh, a valid, we have uh, 380, uh, 385 out of, 300 and, uh, out of 384. Data analysis, we use the spaces where descriptive and frequency used the research in addition, in addition to non-parametric based on the test of normality. Uh, our instrument reliability was the questionnaire was translated into Arabic. This study used a five-point Likert scale. Uh, 
it's ranging from one donated as strongly disagree and five donated as strongly agree. This is our demographic uh, information analysis for gender. This is for age. This is for education. This is for cities. This is for jobs. This is for long running business. And this is for nationalities. And this is our normality test. Because of the number of responses in the questionnaire is more than 100, we take Kormonov, Simirinov values as a normality test. This is our descriptive statistic for uh, the first dimension, which is risk taking. The second one is innovation. The third one is proactiveness. The fourth one is autonomy. The fifth one is competitive aggressiveness. Hypothesis testing. This is the binomial test for all the dimensions. We accepted each one in this uh, uh, table. This is, uh, uh, this is the demographic hypothesis testing. This is uh, the table for gender. This is for nationality. This is for age. This is for cities. This is for education. And this is for long running business. And this is for job category. Key results. Uh, as for the hypothesis one, which is uh, measuring the entrepreneurial orientation as a whole, we found that risk taking is uh, taking a result as H1, innovation H1, proactiveness H1, autonomy H1, and competitive aggressiveness H1, which means that the first hypothesis is taking H1. As for the demographic information, gender group take H0, nationality group take H1, age group take H1, city group take H1, education group take H1, and long running business group take H0, and job group take H1. This is our discussion. We found that uh, Libya have a, a moderate level of entrepreneurship in uh, online businesses. We found that innovation appeared as the highest mean, uh, and Autonomy appeared with the lowest mean. As for demographic uh, factor, we, uh, we, we, we take as a result there is no difference in entrepreneurship between genders in Libya. We found other nationalities working in the same uh, online market have tendency to lead more than their Libyan peers in, on, in, uh, orientation, in entrepreneur orientation. We found that young ages are more entrepreneur than the older ages. We found there uh, is entrepreneurial orientation in Tripoli and Misrata regions uh, than Benghazi region and other cities. There is no different entrepreneurial levels between all uh, scientific levels and contracts to Western world. There is a higher level of entrepreneurship in developing business than stable business. We found that students are more likely to be entrepreneur than the governmental workers and homemakers and the others. This is our limitation. The first and the most important limitation was limited access to data and previous studies. The second one, entrepreneurial orientation should conduct among Libyan schools and universities. This is a recommendation. Libyan government should add laws to protect Libyan entrepreneurial orientation and private businesses. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Paisal Mahmoud Al Mufti and today I will be discussing my graduation project. I'm a project management student. So today I will, uh, I will be discussing about social entrepreneurship in Libya and this is my table of contents. For introduction, social entrepreneurship has become a new phenomena to reduce uh, social issues. Also, uh, social entrepreneurship has been described as a method to respond to social problems such as employment, hunger and poverty. This is my definitions of social entrepreneurship and also entrepreneurship. For the research problem, there, is, uh, there were a lack of pro uh, papers uh, in Libya. Also, uh, social entrepreneurship is difficult to understand in the society. People have no idea what, what does it mean. For the research objective, to measure the social entrepreneurship in Libya. Also, to identify if there is any significant difference between uh, participants response that could be attributed to demog demographic data. For the this is my research hypothesis. The research importance, the importance of this study is to investigate on the level of social entrepreneurship in Libya. 
The literature review, I have reviewed uh, 15 papers uh, uh, as used as secondary data. Also, uh, the studies that were mentioned in the literature review has all conducted uh, in the recent years, uh, between 2007 and 2020. The majority of countries that performed uh, the studies on the application of social entrepreneurship were, were from uh, Asian countries and also in Europe. This is my theoretical framework. The research methodology here, we used a survey method that contained the questions uh, about uh, using a five-point uh, Likert scale from strongly disagree uh, to strongly agree. <coughs> We also used the table of Morgan that uh, determined the sample size. From the data collection do a tool is derived from well-structured questionnaire taken from Dr. Sabri. Uh, the question, uh, question, questions about uh, social entrepreneurship uh, in Libyan perspective. The survey was uh, widely distributed online. Also, uh, the secondary data is based on uh, studies on social entrepreneurship. Is uh, instrument validity. Uh, for the data analysis, we used the SPSS uh, version uh, 22. Uh, we tested the Cronbach Alpha uh, and the reliability test, uh, the demographic data, the mean Kromogorov uh, Samir uh, Smear node test, binomial test, and also Man Whitney and Cro uh, Kruskal test. Instrument reliability here refers to the measurement of the of the data that. Uh, that shows you how the data is reliable or not. Here the Kronbach Alpha was 0.77, which means that it's bigger than 0.7, and this uh, concludes that you can rely on my data. Here are demographic data of the gender. The frequency of females was uh, the majority and bigger than the males. Here the age group. Also, uh, we have uh, the occupation, the nationality, and also marital status, the educational level of the respondents, the income level, and finally the, the residence of the respondents. Here, the majority was from Benghazi, which takes a percentage of uh, 92.2. Normality test here is, uh, uh, shows that the uh, significant was below uh, 0 0.05, which means that my data is non-parametric. Here, here are the descriptive of uh, dimension of social entrepreneurship. The highest uh, mean score was 3.26, and the lowest was uh, 2.17. And here we, are, we have the overall of uh, the descriptive statistics, statistic of dimension of social entrepreneurship was 2.44, which means that the respondents, uh, respondents disagree uh, and also it determines that there is no social entrepreneurship in Libya. Here we use the Man Whitney test, also we use the Kruskal Walls test. Here we use the binomial test also. This is the summary of the test's hypothesis, which uh, means that uh, they uh, the accepted or rejected the hypothesis. Here we result have we have the overall mean of social entrepreneurship, as I said, that it was 2.44, which means that the social entrepreneurship in Libya is weak. Also, uh, you can say that there is no social entrepreneurship in Libya. Uh, for the demographic data, there are no significant difference uh, between uh, participants, for, except for age, gender, marital status, and income level. For the limitation, no previous researches or study had been undertaken in Libya. Internet questionnaire is open to anyone, so the responses may be uh, dishonest or untrustworthy. The study has also been uh, limited by length of time, which prevented me from uh, conducting more or uh, go more in depth in my research or collecting more responses. I only collect 258 respondents out of uh, 384 respondents. Uh, 
and recommendation and application implications that this study shows the level of social entrepreneurship is weak so meaning that our society or our entrepreneurs entrepreneurs should focus on the on the social entrepreneurship level and also the Libyan society is unfamiliar with the term of social entrepreneurship which means that is a big disadvantage of our society and uh, we have to uh, we have to consider that social entrepreneurship is important to our society as i said it's uh, it, it del uh, deliver us our opportunities and solution to fix our society thank you very much for listening <laughs>
This is the dimension, the online purchasing during COVID-19. The overall mean of the dimension, as you can see highlighted in front of you in yellow, is 3.39. And this suggests that there is a moderate behavior of consumers towards online purchasing. But since the number is 3.39, it's very close to a positive, or positive behavior, according to the Likert scale, uh, that the consumers agree that most of the consumers agree that they do use online shopping during COVID-19. These are the one sample statistics and the one sample test. This is the hypothesis testing, of, again, of the demographics, the gender test, the, uh, the age group, the nationality, educational level, occupation, and residence. As you can see, most or all of the tables that were shown before had a significance of 0 0.773, which indicates that all the, that, which indicates that there is no significant differences among the participants' responses in terms of demographic factors. This suggests that we should accept the hypothesis H0 and reject the hypothesis H1. All in all, the findings suggest that consumers have been using online purchasing. This is due to the mean being 3.39, which is very close to 3.41. And 3.41 indicates that the consumers agree according to the Likert scale. Moreover, there was found to be no significant responses uh, among the, uh, there was no significant differences among the responses of the candidates. This is a summary of which hypothesis is accepted and rejected, as you can see in front of you. H0B is accepted, H1A is re accepted as well, and H1B and H0A were rejected. This is the summary of the demographic findings, the percentages of each uh, of the male and female, the age group, educational level, occupational, and so on. A limitation, the, my limitation in this project was, one, was that there was, no, there was a lack of research in terms of the use of online shopping during COVID-19 in Libya. Therefore, my project aims to uh, uh, tackle this issue and gather data regarding the use of online shopping. Also, that the sample size uh, was 220, but the required sample was 384, and unfortunately, that was a limitation. And this project, I'd recommend that this project will, will assist and gain individuals in gaining knowledge regarding the impact of COVID-19 and how those changes will influence them. Thank you for listening. Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, the project of it is Libyan consumer perception toward online uh, food delivery service during COVID-19. This is table of content. Mm, this is introduction. The study is uh, from the start of the online buying to the our our present day, which is uh, focused on consumer perception, uh, how affected on the online buying. This is definition online buying, consumer perception, and uh, delivery service. We have the research problem, which is to need to. Uh, uh, right, uh, raise the awareness of the consumer, Libyan consumer perception. This uh, research objective to measure consumer perception and the five dimension, uh, usefulness, ease of use, risk purchase, uh, purchase intention, and uh, is, is, is there a significant difference among the dif demographic uh, distribution. This is the hypothesis. We have the research importance. Like I said, to increase the awareness of the consumer perception. Uh, we have the literature review. Uh, 15 papers were, were, uh, were reviewed in this graduation project, which uh, find that online buying and uh, delivery service have efficient and effective way to do the requirement. We had the theoretical framework. I described the, the five dimensions that I mentioned. And we have the research methodology. We have the questionnaire uh, five liquid point. And uh, the distribution of the questionnaire was uh, in, on the social media, uh, based, based on Craig and Morgan table. Uh, the, the, and according to the world meter, uh, Libyan the population of Lib uh, Libya is 7 million, and uh, the samples w w uh, were uh, 384 successfully gathered. Uh, we have the data collection tool. Like I said, uh, I used the five liquid point. This is the sample. 
the question was uh, adopted by and designed by Rahman to the uh, authors, and we have divided to uh, five section, which is uh, like I mentioned the five dimension, usefulness, and so on. We have a stream of validity, data analysis. I, I used the uh, SPSS version uh, twenty twenty-three. Uh, I used uh, Smirnov test, Benamula test, uh, normality test, and reliability test. This is re reliability. Uh, the questionnaire was reliable according to the percentage. A chronic alpha is uh, above 70%. This is demographic information, gender, age group, nationality, uh, the place of resistance. Uh, Occupation, education level, and we have a normality test. Where the, based on the normality test, the distribution was is not uh, not normal, which means it's non-parametric. Uh, we have descriptive analysis. All all of them was agree to the questionnaire except the risk one was uh, three point fourteen, which means agree and disagree, neither agree and disagree. And we have uh, the hypothesis test. All uh, was positive. Uh, according to the, the to the percentage, leave your consumer whole visit of attitude to uh, to a long food delivery service. And we have the uh, man Whitney test and the classical test. This is the classical test. And the result, the key finding of the study was. Finding the consumer perception, living consumer perception have, have four, four perception that I mentioned, but there is significant difference among the demographic according to uh, the demographic uh, schedule and gender usefulness and the age group uh, purchase intention and uh, resistance and trust and education for each of usefulness and purchase intention. The limitation of the study was uh, both financial and uh, time resource. Firstly, uh, limited access to the data, a study previous and focused in Libya. Uh, the distribution uh, uh, must be randomly, but uh, this uh, project conduct in only in Libya. The thirdly, the most of respondents was uh, males, and finally, uh, was limited amount of time to uh, study more depth in the project. Uh, we have the final thing. The recommendation is to uh, develop, or for, uh, the government must focus and the, and the line by and develop it to to make the uh, life easier and faster. Thank you. Hello, my name is Samira Nasvesin. Today I'll be presenting my graduation project, which is about living customer satisfaction on the quality of internet services. As for my content, I will start with an introduction and end with recommendations and implications. So, as an introduction, the, te the telecommunication industry has grown tremendously over the recent years, especially uh, in Libya as well. And many companies are trying to find a strategy decision to gain customer satisfaction because with the gain of customer satisfaction you will gain a lot more profitability and customer retention and loyalty these are definitions uh, as for the research problem uh, the first main problem is that uh, in libya the telecommunication sector is has a lot of lacking points especially in customer satisfaction which will ha which will affect a lot of the uh, other industries' problems and uh, not help them evolve, such as education sectors, political sectors, and uh, economical sectors. As for the research objectives, the first one is to measure to what extent Libyan customers are satisfied with the quality of internet services. The second is to measure to what extent Libyan customers are satisfied with the quality of marketing mix provided by internet services. Then we have to identify if there are any significant differences among the respondents' demographic information and lastly, is to put forward some recommendations and implications. These are the hypotheses. Then we have the research importance. There are two points that will show the research importance, theoretical and practical. As for the practical, uh, it's important that the fact that internet is used in everyone's lives, rather from business to social. So when we do have an, uh, an improved customer service, ISP, that will help translate not only for the organizations to have more subscriptions, but also for Libyan lives to improve on a daily basis. 
And as for the practical, it will help for uh, future researchers to know how uh, Libyan customers are satisfied with the level of ISP's quality. Then we have uh, the literature review. For this graduation project, there was 15 uh, papers studied and analyzed to see how um, customer uh, service quality affects on internet services and customer satisfaction. And it showed that um, almost 90% all agree that the model of service quality helps uh, retain or helps with customer satisfaction. The other 10%, however, do agree that service quality does help. Uh, however, it does not show the holistic picture or it's not the holistic model to be used uh, for customer satisfaction. This is the theoretical framework. The most important one is the dimensions of service quality, which is a circle model. These are the five dimensions. Then we have the research methodology. As for the data collection tool, there is two parts for this uh, data. The first one is to measure the dimensions of service quality uh, provided by internet services. The second is to question the marketing mix provided by internet services. This is instrument validity. As for the questionnaire that was used for the study, it was extracted from a study done by Bridget Lisson and Charles Vance in 2001. The study was named the Cross-Culture Assessment of Service Quality. And uh, another table was done by Dr. Sabri and was supervised by him. Uh, the data analysis is the next step after uh, um, improving the instrument validity which we used SPSS version 25 and have uh, applied many tests. Some of them are the reliability, Kronbach Alpha, and the frequencies to identify differences of demographic data. We as well, I as well did a normality test, which showed that the study follows a non-parametric uh, study. And this, the tests used were such as Colmo Grove, Binomial, Manutni, and Kruskal Wallace tests. Then we have the instrument reliability. There were six dimensions for the study, and all six uh, have proven to be reliable based on the Kronbach Alpha, which shows that it is reliable because it's more than 70%. Then we have the demographic information uh, data. First is gender. Then we have age group, city or residence, education, occupation, and income level, as well as nationality. And we also added for the study uh, the types of internet providers used. Then we had the uh, normality test, which showed that the test, based on its segmentation, which is lower than 0 0.05, follows a non-parametric study. These are the other dimensions. For each dimension, there was done uh, a test, which showed their overall mean and standard deviation. Then we move on to the hypothesis testing. For each dimension, we have used a binomial test, which help us show which hypothesis to accept and which to not accept. Uh, we also used a Mann-Whitney for the tests that have two dimensions, such as gender and nationality, and have used Kruskal Wallace for dimensions that have more than two, such as age, residence, level of education, occupation, and income level. Lastly, as for the results, uh, we've shown that Libyan customers or consumers are not satisfied with the quality of internet services, and as well as not, uh, they are not satisfied with the marketing mix provided. Um, as for the five dimensions that were studied, they were, uh, the consumers were not satisfied with the responsiveness, assurance, tangibility, and reliability. And as for, lastly, the significant differences of demographic data, it was shown that people or uh, the respondents with higher income level are more influenced than less income users. Lastly, as for the limitations, uh, the first limitation was that based on the Morgan table, uh, the study should have 384 respondents, whereas this study only had 238. Secondly is that uh, only 93 were Libyan, whereas the study was sh should focus on only Libyan consumers. Then we have thirdly is that 70% of the respondents were female, which shows a little bit of a lack study. Lastly is that uh, there was a limitation of time and finance towards the study. As for uh, recommendations and implications, uh, first recommendation would be to, uh, the to show the importance of internet services 
to, work for, uh, to be acknowledged by the providers and the government, and to also have improvements in training and investing the manpower and the facilities for a better customer reta retention. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is uh, Lola Muhammad Bira. I'm a uh, uh, finance and bank management student. So <clears throat> today I'm going to present my graduation uh, project presentation, which is the uh, uh, comparative studies uh, between the performance of conventional portfolio and Islamic portfolio in Borsa Malaysia. Um, these are my contents, starting from introduction to uh, recommendations. For introductions, uh, the rapid growth of Islamic finance uh, motivate l uh, investors to focus on uh, Islamic invest investment more than uh, conventional investments. And there is a debate issues between the researchers if which is have a, a better performance of conventional portfolio or Islamic portfolio. So these studies will examine the, the performance for both the portfolios in Borsa Malaysia from 2010 to 2016. Islamic finance. <coughs> Islamic finance or Islamic investment uh, um, Islamic finance or Islamic investment is uh, depend on the Sharia principles and do, uh, don't uh, profit from the company that uh, don't follow Sharia uh, standards such as uh, alcohol uh, uh, companies and poor companies and uh, uh, companies that have uh, interest uh, rate in their uh, uh, financial transactions. So uh, rather than uh, despite the, this uh, in the structure, the Islamic finance is increased year by year. Comparing between uh, Islamic and conventional portfolio, in general, uh, conventional portfolios uh, focuses only on uh, higher return and low risk, but Islamic portfolios focuses uh, on uh, um, uh, profit from the uh, companies that uh, follow Sharia standards and uh, conventional portfolios is limited, uh, unlimited diversification while Islamic portfolio limited and less diverse diversification more con uh, than conventional uh, portfolios. Uh, type of investors in conventional portfolio, the investors who are looking for a uh, higher return as I said, but in Islamic portfolios, uh, the religions, investors, and the ethical investors. So why I chose Borsa Malaysia? Borsa Malaysia is one of the most countries that are interested in Islamic finance. And it has uh, uh, two markets, Islamic market and conventional market. And it uh, also has the FTSE Borsa Malaysia AMSA index which is the, that's the market that I used in the Genesis Alpha transactions. So this market, uh, this uh, index uh, uh, include of all the stocks listed in Borsa Malaysia from the large company to the uh, small uh, uh, companies. And these are my research problem. In general, uh, portfolio managers construct a portfolio depend on the uh, investors' uh, needs and policy and depend on the uh, risk and return. On other hand, for the Islamic portfolios, depend on the uh, pr uh, Sharia standards, yet risk and return. And there is a, uh, and there is a, uh, there is a debate issues of, uh, uh, of of the which is have a pattern performance, so and this research will examine this uh, problem. These are my research objectives. These are my research questions. In let's review. After I read more than uh, after I read more than uh, twenty uh, uh, research papers, I conclude. As I said, and there is uh, uh, debate issues of which is have a better performance, and there is 70% uh, agreed that Sharia standards don't affect in the 
in the uh, return uh, in the portfolio return, and 30% of paper that uh, uh, that that uh, that conclude in in the Sharia uh, standards is affect negatively in the <coughs> uh, uh, portfolio performance. Methodology for the data, I use this, uh, this research depend on the secondary data and using analyzed by the uh, quantitative analysis. So this research employs the monthly data because it's less uh, uh, flexion than daily data or weekly data. Portfolio samples, I have a conventional portfolio and Islamic portfolio. Conventional portfolio consists of the all stocks that's in uh, database and Islamic portfolios consist of the stocks that uh, depend on the Sharia standards. And in this table, as we see the conventional stocks and Islamic uh, stocks uh, at the end of the period is increased. <coughs> Borsa Malaysia stock and conventional stock and uh, Islamic stocks and conventional stock in Borsa Malaysia the the blue the blue is the Islamic stocks and the red is the non-Islamic stocks. So in uh, 2014, the uh, conventional stocks is increased because uh, in 2016, the list of Sharia's uh, pressured the investors uh, with the, with the, uh, with a percent of uh, Islamic, so the, the conventional uh, investors transform, uh, the Islamic investors transform to the conventional uh, portfolio. Evaluation measurements, uh, risk and return characteristic, uh, uh, um, return measurement, uh, return on investment, average return, uh, standard deviation, beta, for the risk adjust return, I do the sharp ratio, trainer ratio, and genesis alpha ratios. And also, I use the T test sample and correlation measurement. And finally, the benchmark, which is risk free rate and the market benchmark. For the first results, uh, risk and return performance, the two in the return two portfolio have the same return and it's uh, higher than. Um, market benchmark and for the standard devi deviation the two portfolio have the same risk but uh, it's more than uh, uh, market benchmark for the beta the two uh, portfolio is similar but is uh, uh, less than market for the risk adjust return the two portfolio is similar and it's, it's uh, better than uh, market benchmark Second re re uh, result, which is the main difference return between the conventional and Islamic portfolio and the benchmark, the result showed that uh, the the main return is the, uh, more than uh, 0 0.05, which is uh, it's not a statistically difference. <coughs> Third result is the return correlation analysis and. Uh, 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 for the Islamic portfolio, conventional portfolio, and the market benchmark, and the uh, result showed that uh, the uh, portfolios and the benchmarks uh, uh, moved in the same directions. At a correlation is uh, significant at uh, level one percent because it's uh, less than zero point zero five. The key results, uh, risk and return characteristic it's, uh, and risk adjust return have uh, for uh, both the portfolio have a minor difference. And for the t-test, uh, uh, the mean return between uh, Islamic portfolio and conventional portfolios is a not sig uh, statistically significant. The last one is the correlations between the conventional portfolio and Islamic portfolios uh, as a strong and uh, uh, significant at level 1%. Limitation, the first limitation is uh, lim uh, this research depend on the uh, 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 lim limited data. And the second, uh, the, the results uh, valid only for Borsa Malaysia. 
Third, uh, the research depends on quantitative uh, analysis. The first recommendation on this research for the investors who uh, seek uh, for the higher return don't uh, uh, don't need to delve from the Sharia standards, and also the sh Sharia scholars must standardize the uh, the standards uh, uh, of the markets to don't confuse the investors. And the third result it says. Um, uh, the results of these studies uh, uh, it's uh, not depend on the any future decision. Further research, the first one, this uh, research, uh, um, this uh, research, this research uh, um, depend all, mostly on the uh, uh, Islamic stocks, which is as I said, it's uh, uh, seventy four percent more than uh, non Islamic stocks. And it's uh, can, and second can be done uh, using uh, quantitative analysis or uh, uh, other statistically methods. The third one is the research could be done uh, compar uh, com comparative between the Islamic portfolio and conventional portfolio before, during, and after COVID-19. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, uh, my name is Sadiq Ali Tayesh, uh, a project management major student. Uh, I'm here today to, do, to present and discuss my uh, graduation project, uh, which has the title of uh, Customers' Attitudes Towards the Quality of, uh, of Private uh, Construction Projects. Here are the table of contents of the project. So, first as an introduction, uh, construction uh, industry is a complex and unpredictable business. Uh, it's a field where uh, different stakeholders involved in a project to meet uh, its objectives in a complex environment. Uh, here, as Tommy and others in 2009 uh, mentioned and, uh, that the Libyan uh, construction industry contribu contributes less to the country's economy than do manufacturing and other services. Here are some of the, of the introductions, project management, quality, total quality, uh, research problem. Uh, so uh, customer, uh, customer's satisfaction uh, can, be, uh, can be either as a, a goal or a measurement tool uh, in the development of uh, construction projects quality. Uh, this study has two, uh, two, uh, two previous studies. Uh, one internationally and the other are local study. Research objectives. The study aim uh, aim to investigate the uh, investigate the customers' attitudes towards the the quality of pri of private construction uh, construction uh, projects in Libya uh, to identify if there are any significant differences among participants responses that could be attributed to demographic information. Lastly, to put forward some recommendations and implications. The research hypothesis. Research importance, uh, two sides uh, in the research importance, which are the theoretical and the practical part. In literature review, uh, 16, uh, 16 papers were reviewed uh, in this uh, project, uh, in this graduation project. Uh, five, uh, maybe around five, uh, f five, uh, fifty-six percent of the of the papers were extremely relevant to the study, while uh, while around thirty-one percent of this of the papers were relevant, uh, and only thirteen percent of the studies were were not on the on the matter of of the of the study. Here are the theoretical framework of the study, which has the customer's attitudes, customer satisfaction, project manager role, public and private sector of construction, and the partner public and private partnership. So in research methodology, uh, uh, this, uh, this project, uh, primary data was collected through an online questionnaire, uh, uh, pu was published in in November 2021, 
uh, the questionnaire was reviewed by Dr. Sabri al Kerali. Uh, around uh, uh, 200 uh, respondents were were answered and included in the in the questionnaire. Uh, the methodology of the study included uh, the five point liquor scale and the Morgan sample size table. So here are the definition of the data collection tool. The definition of instruments validity. And here now we are, now with the data analysis, uh, the data war was analyzed by using the S software package SPSS version uh, 23. Several tests were performed to analyze the data in the study, include the, the reliability test, the frequencies to indicate difference between participants based on demographic data, uh, economic Coloma Grove Smirnov test, the binomial test, Man Whitney test, and the cross call Wallace test. The definition, definition of instruments reliability. And now with the table one reliability test, here are the percent is above than seventy uh, percent, which indicates that the the reliability of this study is is excellent reliable. Now, with, uh, here are the demographic information analysis. The definition of normality test. The normality in the study is less than 0 0.05, which, uh, which, which indicates that the study is non-parametric. Here on the descriptive statistical test, the overall of the questions uh, is 2.81 uh, uh, in inscription that implies that the weighted mean of this section uh, explains that the uh, the respondents uh, have uh, have a moderate have a moderate uh, um, have a moderate uh, among the quality of construction projects in Libya. The hypothesis testing definition. Here are the, the significant in this table is indicated at 0 0.00 that leads to rejecting uh, H0 and accepting H1. The man Whitney test is here uh, included to only two variables, while the Kraskal Wallace test uh, uh, describes for uh, more than two variables. All the demographic uh, information uh, was not significant. Uh, finally, summary of the tested hypothesis as shown here in the table. Now with the result, this study uh, re revealed that the customer play an important role in the, impo in the pro 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 procurement of construction industry. After conducting all the tested, uh, we we analyze that the customers, uh, the customers have negative attitude towards the quality of private construction projects, uh, and uh, and on the other hand, uh, there are no significant differences between respondents and demographic factors. Limitations: the largest limitation of the study that the number, uh, the size uh, of the questionnaire was only 200 respondents out of 384. Finally, recommendations and implications. Um, the, the constructions uh, is, uh, do have need the, the, the strong quality management uh, to, to change the attitudes of respondents and have a, a positive impact. Thank you for your attention. Assalamu alaikum everyone. So my name is Absalam Jouda. I am a project management major student at Limo. So today I'm going to discuss my graduation project, which about student attitudes toward administrative leadership during COVID-19 pandemic, the case of Libya International Medical University. So these, so these are my contents. First we have 
the introduction. Uh, in introduction, the purpose of this project is to emphasize the relevance of leadership uh, throughout obstacle, especially in, in COVID-19, by examining the case of leadership during COVID-19 at the Libya International Medical University. Then we have the definition, uh, higher education definition, distance education, change management, crisis management, so, uh, service leadership, leadership, and e-learning definition. Then we have a research problem. During the COVID-19 pandemic has changed a lot in leadership administrative. Uh, two paper, two uh, relevant paper uh, in uh, work uh, include in research problem, one local and other international. Then we have research objective. The current study aim to accomplish the following objective. The first one to determine if Libya International Medical University student have a positive attitude towards the university academic leader to determine if there are any significant difference among respondents response that could be attributed to demographic information and to put forward some recommendation and implementation. Then we have research hypothesis. These for the research hypothesis. Then we have research important. Uh, this work aimed to understand the student attitude toward their leaders, and this work, and this project is important to education, academic, and university leaders. Then we have the literature review. After reviewing 15 papers, the majority of the papers were conducted in UK, USA, and Indonesia, since those countries are homeland to measure global university and educational uh, institutions. Uh, in addition, 14 paper were used the quantitative data and one paper were used the qualitative data. Then we have theoretical framework. In theoretical framework, we have attitudes and administrative leadership. Then we have research methodology. Uh, quantitative data were used to conduct the data. Then we have data collection tool. Uh, the primary data were acquired from randomly uh, student. Uh, the structure of questionnaire were, were uh, reviewed by Dr. Sabri Kirli. Uh, five point liquor scale and Morgan were used in the project, in this project. The questionnaire were conducted online and uh, through Google Forms. Then we have instrument validity. This definition of instrument validity. Then we have data analysis. Uh, in data analysis, we use uh, the higher statistical tools, SPSS version 25. Different tests were used in this project to analyze the data, uh, which involved reliability test, Cronbach Alpha, frequency, to show the difference between participation uh, based on demographic data, means Cronbach, uh, Cronbach Samiranov test, and binomial test, Manwetni test, and cross Wallace test also used in this project. Now we have instrument li liability. This is the definition of instrument liability. The instrument liability test show that the Kronbach Alpha were more than 0 0.70, which means the reliability of uh, the data, uh, which means the data were reliable. Then we have demographic analysis, information analysis. We have the gender, age group, nationality, city of permanent, social states, education level, occupation, and lastly, income level. Then we have normality test. Uh, the normality test show that the variable were significant, which means the value was less than 0 0.05. That means the data tend to be uh, non-parametric, which means the, stat uh, the statistical result of this paper will follow the non-parametric methods. Then we have the descriptive statistic. The overall mean of the uh, descriptive statistic was 3.48, which means uh, all uh, part participants agree 
with the fact of uh, with the fact that student attitude toward administrative leadership, according to Morgan, according to five point Likert scale hypothesis test. This is the definition of binomial Chris Wallace and Van Whitney test. In binomial test, the binomial test induct that significant statistic difference, which means uh, the proportion were more than 0 0.5, and that lead to accept H1 and reject H0. Then we have the demographic factor, factor Van Whitney for uh, Man Whitney for the uh, gender and Chris Kavalos for age group. There is no significant difference between among the demographical factor, which lead to accept H0. Then we have the result. According to the founding, uh, Libya International Medical University students have a positive attitude toward the university's academic leaders and there, are, and there was no significant difference found among respondents' view that can be attributed to all the demographical factor. Demographical factor analysis, the overview. Limitation, in limitation, the sample size of this study is small, which is 115. According to uh, Morgan, the sample size should be to uh, 297. Further, the study is limited to respond uh, gained from students in Libya International Medical University only. Then we have recommendation and implementation. Uh, the finding in this study, uh, in this project, may be used by researcher, policy makers, Ministry of Education, quality insurance, university, uh, and university administrator to develop policy and innovation. Thank you. Uh, greetings to all. Today I'll be presenting my graduation project from the Faculty of Business Administration in, at Lima. Uh, my name is Salem Al Mahdu. I'm a marketing management student in, uh, in, uh, in the university. Uh, and the topic of my graduation project, which is the meaning of brands from the Libyan consumer perspective, uh, all of this project ha happened uh, under the supervision of uh, Dr. Sabri Karoli, who was the Dean of the Faculty. Uh, these are the contents of the project, starting from the introduction and ending with recommendations and implications. Uh, as an introduction, brands are, 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 are the things that we use in our daily lives, beginning from uh, the television we're watching, begin, uh, using, uh, going through the brands we are using in our daily lives, from materials to food consumption, to the phones we're using, to the clothes we're wearing. So brands are every, wherever we look. However, the meaning of brands is important to understand in order to know on what basis do the customer or the consumer buys their brands on. Uh, these are the definitions that I have included in my project, um, ending with the brand image. And the research problem is that brand meaning from the consumer perspective is neglected in, in most countries. Thus, we will never know on what basis do consumers buy their brands on and we will never know what influences them during that decision making. Uh, in Libya, a paper was published in 2016 uh, which, which talked about uh, what are the perceptions of Libyan consumers, particularly working women, and the, uh, that paper concluded that uh, Libyan consumers purchase their brands upon quality or durability of the product. In this project, uh, it is not that far. Uh, the, the end result was that consumers also buy their brands or the brand meaning for them in Libya is based upon the quality. Uh, these are the two research objectives, understanding the meaning of brands from the Libyan consumer perspective and to detect to what extent are there significant differences among any of the demographic factors. These are the research hypotheses that I've included in the project. Uh, and the research importance, uh, the findings of this uh, project is important for any brand manager or any brand that wants to enter the Libyan market. So they will know, uh, the Libyan consumers, what does the brand means for them. Uh, the literature review 
part of the uh, project. Uh, I've, I've uh, reviewed 12 papers. 91% uh, of them uses quantitative methods. However, the others, uh, only 9% uses um, qualitative methods. The papers have, um, have all, let's say, concluded that uh, brand meaning all around the world, they connect them to seven dominant meanings, beginning from um, quality to self-identity for group identity, uh, values, status, family traditions, and national heritage. As for the theoretical framework extracted from the literature, I've explained what are brands in general, uh, what is the brand identity for the consumers, what is the meaning of brands as a whole, uh, the research methodology that I've used, I've used uh, quantitative methods um, by distributing uh, an uh, online survey on Google Forms and creating a QR code for this survey and intercepting consumers in, in shopping centers in Benghazi and students here at the university's campus. I've collected 407 responses. Uh, the survey contained two parts, first the demographic parts and the other one had, um, as I've explained, the questionnaire uh, extracted from a previous study. Um, the, the design of the survey had uh, a five Likert scale, starting from strongly agree to strongly disagree. Uh, as for the population and sample that I've used, the table of Kersesian Morgan, according to it, uh, if the population is more than 100,000 or a million, thus the sample should be 384. I have collected 407 responses. As the data collection tool, uh, the, the questionnaire was obtained from a previous study from Shistrikova, uh, moreover, the, the questionnaire was revised by Dr. Sabri Kirgli, uh, which posed questionnaires regarding the seven dimensions that I've explained. Um, and the questionnaire was distributed in English and Arabic form on, uh, on Google Forms. As for the instrument validity, I've explained uh, the, the, this questionnaire was published in this previous study, and it was published in the International Journal of Research and Marketing, and was used in several studies after that uh, in the same context. Uh, the data analysis, I've used the SPSS version 23. Uh, several tests were used as the reliability test, frequency test, uh, descriptive statistics, and normality test that showed that the, the, the data follows a non-parametric distribution since the significance was less than 0 0.05. Uh, as for, uh, thus, since the data followed a non-parametric distribution, the following tests were used in order to test the following hypo the, the, the hypothesis, binomial, Mann-Whitney, and cross wallace test. Uh, the instrument reliability indicated that all of the dimensions that I've included, or the instruments that I've used, are all reliable since all of them were above uh, 0 0.70. Uh, one of the dimensions, which is national heritage, had a lower average correlation with the rest of the items. After deleting that certain question, the reliability went to be acceptable. Uh, so this is, these are all the demographic information analysis, it's beginning from gender to education to occupation and all of the usual demographic data. The normality test, as I've explained, showed that the data follows a non-parametric distribution since the significance was less than 0, 0 0.05. Uh, these are the descriptive statistics for quality. Uh, these indicate the overall mean. Uh, as, ex as, as stated, uh, according to Palant in 2001, each overall mean indicates if the participants agree or disagree or either they were moderate with the fact that they include quality um, this is for self-identity. These are the descriptive statistics for all the dimensions. Um, as for the hypothesis test, uh, here in the binomial test, we are testing two things. First, if the table is significant or no. Since if it was less than 0 0.05, we enter the table and see if the observed proportion is larger than test proportion. If the observed proportion is larger than the test proportion, we accept the H1. If, it, if it's less, we accept the H0. Um, these are all the binomial tests that I've used in the project. This is the hypothesis test for the Mann-Whitney for anything that has two variables, and this is the cross wallace for anything that has three or more. Uh, yeah. So as uh, uh, as to conclude everything in the results, in terms of the brand meaning for the Libyan consumers, uh, results indicate that quality represents the meaning of brands to the consumers. As I've said, this agrees with the previous study that was published in Libya in 2016 that they purchased their brands based on their quality and significant difference was found among respondents views that can be attributed in gender, social status, age and occupation and income level. These are the results of the demographic analysis. Uh, these are the results also from the descriptive statistics. The, the included in red is the overall mean. 
And this is the summary of all the tested hypotheses, which to accept and which to reject. Um, as, as the limitations, the first limitation was that there was almost, there's, there was only one previous study in Libya in the same context. However, the other, uh, uh, the other limitation was that the female percentage of the respondents was, was mo much more larger than the males. This will, will limit my conclusion and, and make it uh, a limited one. Uh, thirdly, uh, sorry, the project uses only seven dimensions, as I've explained, the ones that, are, that were ex extracted from the previous study. More dimensions could have been applied in this project. As for implication, as I've explained, um, the, the findings are important for any brand manager or any brand that wants to enter Libya. Uh, after, after reviewing this project, they will know that uh, Libyans buy their brands over their quality. So if any brands want to succeed in the Libyan market, they should really focus on the durability and the quality of their product. And thank you for the attention. Assalamu uh, alaikum. Uh, my graduation project is about the determinants of bank profitability in Gulf countries. Assalamu alaikum. My graduation project is about the uh, determinants of bank profitability in Gulf countries. Uh, this is table of contents. Start with introduction. Uh, bank profitability is important to banking financial systems, long term viability. Uh, that means when banks make a profit by imposing finance, financing charges, it will affect uh, it will affect bank uh, it will affect bank competitiveness and economic. Uh, therefore, uh, therefore, uh, a bank sector plays a critical role in financial system in financial system and economy. Uh, also, also the purpose of this research is to investigate the determinants of bank profitability in Gulf countries. Uh, over the period 2000 to 2012 objective of the study uh, uh, first to examine to examine the variables that affects bank bank profitability also to provide implication that would be that would be beneficial for uh, for policy makers and for policy makers and regulators importance of, of the study uh, uh, the economy in gcc is is dependent on oil-based economy. Therefore, when you having an efficient banking sector, uh, it's important to it's important to transform to transform the economy from oil-based to market-based economy. Uh, also, finds finds of finds of this study are beneficial for different stakeholders such as uh, policymakers, regulators, shareholders. Uh, and research problem uh, over 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 the last two decades uh, from this research, uh, the banking sector in Gulf countries has been witnessed significant development uh, in in its in its operating environment because uh, a well-functioning financial system is important to is important to ensuring long-term growth and long-term growth and development. Uh, uh, therefore. Examining examining profitability drivers of GCC is very essential for forming policies that would be that would be in favor for, for this sector. In literature review, twenty papers were used in this study to assess uh, as a secondary data. Uh, also, all, all papers use quantitative research to analyze the, the determinants of banks' profitability. Uh, some of the studies. Uh, were carried out recently while others were carried out years ago. Uh, this is the research hypothesis, methodology and model. Uh, uh, this study examines factor affecting, affecting profitability by using, by using panel data uh, to identify the main bank specific, industry specific and macroeconomic factors affecting profitability. Uh, also, the study collected data of 43 banks uh, from GCC, namely Kuwait, Saudi, Emirat, Oman, Bahrain, and Qatar for period uh, 2000-2012. This table shows the variables that used in this study, which includes dependent and independent variable. Uh, also under this table show the source of, of this variable, which is Bank Scoop and the World Bank Database. These are the models that used in this study, which uh, measured by dependent variable, 
which are uh, uh, which are uh, which are ROA, which is return on or which is return on, on assets and the return on equity. Uh, the the last one in non net interest margin. In result, this table show uh, results of panel data regression with uh, with with ROA. The second table show result uh, of panel regression with ROE. The last table show result of panel regression with NIM. Uh, uh, as a result from these tables, uh, these variables show that, that are, uh, there, is, there are a, po a positive relationship between capital adequacy, market share, and non-interest in non income and, uh, and GDP. On the other hand, the other variables show that there are a negative relationship with bank with bank profitability. Uh, also, as a result, uh, hypothesis one, five, six, and nine are uh, are rejected. Where other uh, uh, where other variables are uh, accepted, where others hypothesis are accepted. And limitations uh, in this study. Uh, limitations this study couldn't obtain data to show the ownership structure in GCC banks uh, also it doesn't go into detail about anything other than the terms of banks profitability in GCC over the period 2000-2012 a bullish implication this study is, uh, is aimed to help to help policymakers and regulators and bank management in creation and execution uh, of better policies and, and strategies resulting in improved bank performance uh, in the GCC. Re recommendation, this study, can, uh, this study can be conducted to include, uh, to include longer time period in the future for, for more studies, also to confirm the association additional statistical, statistical approaches might be used. Uh, also, to better understand uh, and assess bank performance, this research can also study into other uh, into other variables of bank success, and include banks from other countries. Thank you for your listening. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Omar Hassi. I'm talk today about examination the impact of market structure and bank specific on the profitability of GCC banks. This is my table of content. Uh, my introduction uh, in the term of the financial sector, uh, the Gulf uh, country economic are, are mostly at the beginning and the, mark and the capital market are considered as the, to be early stage and the banking industry is taking control of financial sector. My object of uh, the study, the goal of this study is to examine to a structure contact performance hypothesis uh, integrated model to identify the measured de determinant of profitability in the GCC and examine the bank specific variable on profitability of GCC bank. Uh, my importance of the study an efficient allocation, uh, allocation of investment uh, fund as well as developing this economic. Uh, in the long run, and it's very important uh, for transforming uh, economic from oil-based economic to market-based economic. Uh, this is my research problem. My lecture review and revision of a uh, 12th uh, paper aimed to examine the determinant of profitability in different markets and uh, compares uh, them to the economic determinant of cost-profit efficiency over the course of a year. This is my research uh, hypothesis. My uh, methodology and model, this study uses panel data uh, analysis to examine the market concentration and uh, the bank specific uh, variable uh, to affect uh, profitability of bank in GCC economic. Banking data has been collected from uh, 43 banks during period uh, from 2000 to 2012 from BankScoop uh, database. This is the table of dependent and independent variable used in this study. Uh, this uh, model uh, used in this study, I used three models, uh, return on assets and return on equity and uh, uh, net interest margin. 
this uh, table of uh, regression with ROA and this table regression of ROAE and this uh, table of regression of uh, NIM. In result, uh, uh, the all variable has a uh, negative relationship with the bank profitability except two variables, uh, capital adequacy and capital adequacy and GDP. Uh, is has uh, a positive relationship with bank profitability. My limitation is uh, uh, my limitation of this study is covered only a uh, limited period from 2000 to 2012 and covered only uh, part of variable. Other variable uh, are not uh, examined. And this study has financial data obtained from financial statement of different bank in, va in various country. This is my policy implication, and this is my recommendation. Thank you. My project is talking about measuring the quality of educational service, specifically in Limo. This is table of contents. I have introduction. My introduction is talking about the measuring the quality in university, so to how, to, how your university will be successful to your student will be more satisfied. There's the definition, service quality, higher education quality measurement, and this, the server qual, server qual is the tool of, to measure the quality. There's five dimension of server qual, reliability, tangibility, responsiveness, assurance, and lastly is empathy. And this is a limo, all we ask to know what's a limo, research problem there is a warning lack of papers in the in the libya so this uh, this research will be the help help the future to measure the service quality in university research objective i have mean two research objective the first one is to identify if students at limo are satisfied with service quality offered by university the second one to identify if there is any significant difference among the response that could be attributed to demographic information and this is i have many research hypotheses i have 14 hypotheses this is my research importance the research important of this paper best highlighted of uh, and offered the ministry of higher education this practical research should be helpful helpful when addressing the service quality of higher education. For sure, it should improve the state at Libya International University be, be knowing its advantages and the disadvantages. Literature reviews. In the literature review, I have used 20 papers which covered the topic of measuring the service quality in higher education. Educational. Theoretical framework. In the current research should be of a great help in, in the field when talking about Libyan, it should set example for future research. This uh, theoretical free, uh, framework, this paper will help, uh, will help the research is talking about future research locally and, and many local domestic universities to know where you're heading. You must to know you are standing by measuring the level of service quality offered by Limo. We will be able to address the exciting gaps of problem if found. Okay. Research methodology in order to measure the service quality. The study was performed two steps. The first one is was literature review. Literature review, it's more important to give us an insight the importance of service quality in educational ser service. The second step, it was the preparing questionnaire by Dr. Sabri, the student attending in Limo. Medic in Limo. So I have uh, using the, uh, the measurement of service quality uh, attending by Limo with server quality using a five point like Likers scale. And, and this the Likert scale is for example strongly agree. The average number of point in strongly agree is, uh, is from five to 21 to five. If it's strongly disagree, the average the range point in strongly disagree from 1 to 1.8. This is determining sample size to know the population in the research. 
and this five dimension server quad this is the tool to using and measuring the server qual model reliability assurance tangibility empathy and responses data collection tool the data collection tool used the research is the server qual model of the question the questionnaire of the of two parts demographic questions as well as sex questions and questions that cover that five dimension of serv service quality is 25 questions the demographic question were offered multiple choice and the second part is, was related a five-point Likert skill. The questionnaire was developed and presented in a social media platforms. An estimate validity questionnaire was sourced by Sabri Karifli. The questionnaire is one of the most widely used tools the collection data in current research on Libya International Medical University measuring service quality offered by LIMO and student satisfa satisfaction. Uh, the SPSS analysis tool tested the validity of the server qual questionnaire. This data analysis I have using SPSS version 25 to analyze the data. The current different tools are used, including the reliability test, Chrome Alpha frequency to see, to see the difference between the participations according to their demographic data, column growth, Banyomial test, Man Whitney hypothesis, and lastly is Cross Cal Williams. An estimate reliability to measure the how the questions is reliable. I have uh, to measure reliability. Quality service is zero point. 94 Chrome Alpha, that means high reliability, so that means students uh, student at LIMO are satisfied with service quality offered by university. This is demographic informa information analysis. In this section of the distribution of the participation, according to demographic data, the first part of the questions covered about demographic is include gender, age, and whatever. This is the table of gender, table of nationality. The majority of respondents was female. Show the nationality participation. There are tw uh, 240 Libyan stu uh, students. This is Asia group. The more majority in Limo is was the age between 80 and 20, and minority of participation were were for age over 26 years. And this table five and six, this table seven is talking about facilities and normality test. And normality test to see your data is barometric or non-barometric. My data is non-barometric because it's less than 0.05 so in descriptive analysis to a design it according to server qual model of questionnaire using five bonus Likert skill, five dimension of server quality is tangibility, reliability, assurance. This is the tools of server qual. This is the table of this descriptive data. The overall of mean is was 3.55. That's all the student is was agree with the questions so uh, which means that student mostly agree with the questions so hypothesis hypothesis testing i use the uh, binomial man whitney and Kraskal test so in the hypothesis one we are uh, we are except H1A because it's uh, 0 0.50. So student at LIMO are satisfied with service quality offered by university. And there is no, res uh, no significant difference among the respondents. We accept the null one because the null is, uh, is more than 0 0.05. And this is Kraskal Williams test. It's used to measure uh, three variables or more. 
this is my results. High, high reliability of cervical questionnaire is 0 0.95. Most of the respondents were female. Uh, more of respondents is inside Benghazi. Also more of respondents is aged between 8 and 20. And uh, the single people is more, is more uh, people in Limo. So, except H, uh, H0J and except uh, H1, uh, H1A. So, this is the, the limitation. The mean limitation was limited number of respondents. The limitation of the research is I want to measure in the future, not only in the students. I want to measure the staff workers, workers in Limo. And there is the recommendation and necessary that all Libyan university measure the service quality and student satisfaction in order to achieve the respect for Libyan higher education. Higher education in general, in general has grown rapidly over the last few decades. Thank you. Uh, my project title is Obstacle Facing the Converting Process from Conversional Bank to Islamic Bank. This is my content. And this is introduction. Islamic Bank has taken rapid steps on, in taking their important place in the uh, global crisis system. Also have come to, pay, to play an uh, active role in the, uh, supporting the economies of country. So also the, uh, the Islamic Bank attract att uh, attention from the Arhav uh, Dead Blues uh, uh, record, uh, sorry, uh, did record any losses just as a commercial bank in the global crisis in 2008. Uh, this is a definition for commercial bank and uh, Islamic Bank. Uh, this is an uh, Islamic bank in Libya. The problem research based on the law in, uh, issued in 2013 in the national uh, conversion uh, regarding the beginning uh, of the transforming to Islamic bank. Uh, there are no conversional banks have uh, converted completely uh, into an Islamic bank in Libya. Only uh, bank have open parcels or windows, uh, such as Al Wahda, Al Jamahiriya, and Al uh, Tijari uh, Al Watani. So, what are the obstacles facing the converting process from conversional banks to Islamic bank? This is the, our uh, hypothesis. The research objectives uh, that support the higher authority in the country helps the uh, conversional bank to convert uh, into Islamic bank. Also, what exists the management department and employee of the Al Wahda uh, bank understand the machi machinism of converting to Islamic bank. Also, what exists the uh, regulation and uh, law uh, help the conversional bank. Also exist the clients of uh, the Al Wahda Bank. Also, what is uh, exist the external environment, and the technology help conversional banks to uh, convert to into Islamic bank. The research uh, important maybe contribute to to clarify the obstacles and uh, uh, benefits conversional bank which. Uh, Checking the to converting into Islamic Bank, open a new uh, horizon uh, for future research. Uh, maybe also contribute filling uh, the, the gap. Uh, this is a number of uh, parts uh, of the Islamic uh, Bank in, in Libya. Uh, the first one is Al Jamahiriya. Jamahiriya have a large uh, number of the parts and windows in all the Libya. This is uh, the size of the Islamic finance uh, in Libya. This is dependent on uh, report on uh, 2016. 
also Jamahiri, I think, is in the top. And the top of the product of uh, Islamic finance is Al Murabaha. After that, Al Musharaka. This is the value of the Islamic bank in Libya over a period of uh, 2011 2016. Also, Al Jamahiriya is the top. After that, Al Tijari Al Watani. After that, Al Wahda. And that. The literature review, uh, more than 20 research papers we uh, review in the uh, project, uh, graduation project. So there are uh, more five research papers uh, agreed the most important obstacles include the following uh, department. It's about the human resource, the technology, uh, about the uh, experience of the Islamic bank and uh, the uh, capital market, uh, Islamic money market in Libya. Uh, research methodology, it's a primary data using the uh, questionnaire, uh, questionnaire uh, used by Dr. Uh, Sabri al in 2019. Uh, also is a uh, qualitative data uh, the tools is uh, the main resource uh, for the questionnaire is collected data about the resource of the uh, shoal, shoal conversional into Islamic farsh in Al Wahda. Uh, this is questions aims to collect information from uh, responses about the obstacles to converting to Islamic bank. Uh, data analysis, we are uh, using the SPSS software. Uh, the data is uh, study was uh, evaluated using the uh, reliability test, Cromba uh, Alpha frequency, identified difference between uh, par uh, participants based on uh, demography data and Hapero Wicca test. Uh, measurement, uh, we use the uh, some of tests, uh, the Kurmba Alpha and uh, Shapiro test and uh, descriptive analysis, one way ANOVA, uh, one sample t-test. Uh, and the result, a uh, reality of the test. So uh, here uh, we show the, uh, present the education level of the responsibles. Uh, uh, that uh, more than 90% uh, of our also are um, enter have have uh, high uh, education or university education uh, specialization there have uh, uh, 34 in management uh, 35 accounting 4% uh, economy and uh, 27 from others' uh, specialization. The experience, uh, this table for uh, figure for the experience. So we show here that the most of the responsible enter have more than 50 years of the experience. Uh, it's equal to uh, 46% or have less than five years of experience that uh, equal to uh, 42 percent that may give uh, information permission that the bank's management uh, initially uh, relied in, on employees who have uh, banking experience and then begin to rely on the new employees this is a service in the bank Th this is deposited in the Al Wahda bank uh, uh, the higher projects or the higher surface in the Ahda Bank is Al Murabaha. After that, it is Tisna. After that, the Al Al Musharaka and others they have uh, many surface. But uh, the employees, it's not uh, educated in this. Uh, test of normality. The test of normality. Uh, Shapiro uh, table they mean the resource bigger than 0 0.05 so uh, reject lil h0 uh, uh, h1 accept lil h0 the descriptive analysis the answer above the table in 2.227 uh, 
less than three that answer that mini question agree with the statements. Uh, results of the difference in the response according to response uh, demography. Uh, there are no uh, different uh, in the response uh, from the education, the specialization, or the uh, year of experience. Just in uh, question number six, they have uh, a different response in the education level because is because is. Um, uh, any individual they have uh, uh, study in, in يعني, have an uh, okay uh, okay okay they have a uh, different in the uh, question number six uh, the different response from the education because uh, every uh, every employee or every uh, uh, person have a uh, different idea because they have a different level of education. Uh, also, in the question two, in the part of a specialization, they have uh, they have a different uh, response because is uh, uh, the depart of the management uh, of the. Uh, all, all the stuff in the in the bank management, they have a different idea about the uh, transforming to Islamic bank. A result uh, and discussion, they begin the regulation move it in the one of the most important uh, factor in Libya. Uh, using Compra Alpha method showed that uh, reaction had had a normal distribution, and. Uh, uh, the result of the study showed that many int uh, internal uh, obstacles are related to the bank and the external obstacle relating to the environment uh, in which the bank uh, operates. Uh, obstacle include uh, but are not uh, lim limited. It's about the human resource and technology and uh, efficient performance uh, management. Recommendation that necessary to conversional banks that have a partly converting to Islamic bank, also a maintained bank uh, Lib Libyan bank law and regulation. Uh, also look for looking at the obstacle to transformation related to internal bank management. Also need to improve the external environment of uh, transformed banks or parsh and the technology department must be uh, improved and it employee training well. Uh, also, of uh, property and uh, converting the uh, accept of Islamic bank to clients. This is limitation. Limitation of uh, this study is about the study place, as the study only uh, examined one Islamic uh, part of the Libya bank. Uh, also, uh, there was a uh, desert from the researcher, research, researcher to uh, conduct uh, comparative uh, research covering all uh, Libyan bank, but the financial capa uh, capabilities and look of the time presented this. Uh, the time also have uh, affected the type of analysis. Uh, other limitation is the lack of information that is related to the Islamic part in Wahda Bank dispose uh, the researchers um, effort it get to to get it. Thank you. So hello everyone, my name is Lubna Lashani and my graduation project uh, is going to be about the impact uh, of the stock market on economic growth, specifically the Gulf countries. So for my contents, these are what I have included in my project, uh, all the way from the introduction to the references. So as an introduction, stock markets have uh, shown that they're very crucial for the economic growth. However, there was a huge conflict between researchers, whether that impact is um, positive or negative. So the aim of my project was to investigate that impact, specifically, like I said, on the Gulf countries. 
So I had two objectives for my, um, for my project. First was to examine the impact of the stock market, whether it has a positive effect or a negative effect on the Gulf countries and which variable had the most effect. And the second objective was to provide policy implications for the Gulf countries that would uh, create a diversified economy. So upon investigating the, the previous papers on the same topic, uh, my literature review has found out that only 15 papers found that there was a negative relationship between stock market and economic growth, while 85% found that there was a positive impact. So these were my data collection models. Uh, this table was taken from the World Bank Outlook. It shows the variables that I've chosen to examine. Uh, the three first variables are the uh, dependent variables, the uh, real GDP, the GDP growth, and the GDP per capita. I also included four variables related to the stock market, the market capitalization, stock turnover ratio, the listed number of uh, domestic companies, and the total value of listed shares. I also included two dummy variables, the political conflict and the global financial crisis. And lastly, a variable which is um, very uh, known for the uh, Gulf countries, which is the oil rent. Uh, so like I said, all the uh, variables, uh, or basically all the data was collected from the World Bank Outlook from the periods of 1993 till 2019. I also created three formulas to test the effect of those variables on the dependent variables. Uh, basically that's what I summed up. However, since there was a correlation between some of the variables, I created eight models instead of dropping them out completely from the, uh, from the investigation. I created eight models with different dropped variables in each to test the effect on the economic growth. These were my results for the correlation test. As it shows, there were uh, four correlation between the variables. And here I created the eight different models to test the impact of the stock market on the economic growth, with each model containing a different variable. These were for the GDP per capita. The last one was for the GDP growth. Uh, and these are my key findings. Basically, it was to investigate the stock market impact on economic growth, uh, whether it was positive or negative. So I came up that the stock turnover ratio has the most positive impact on the real GDP, while the variable oil rent posit positively impacted the uh, gross domestic product. And the listed uh, companies, or the LS as I've mentioned, has the, a negative effect on the gross domestic product per capita. However, it can be concluded that it has, the stock market has a positive effect on economic growth because the two strongest or most effective variables uh, have a positive impact. So my implications were that uh, policymakers should actually try to uh, come up with more policies to promote stock market, um, or st stock market uh, development, to create a positive or um, better and stronger economy. And also because oil rent actually is, uh, or not oil rent, the oil actually is not a um, renewable source. So basically it's not very efficient to use it uh, or be dependent on for the whole economy. Uh, for my limitations, there was a lack of research papers on the same uh, topic, for specifically on that region. Uh, so there was a lack of uh, data findings for that. Then the results might not reflect um, the reliability of the results because the variables are only four variables related to the stock market and other variables were neglected and I also uh, cho chose one method to test that and um, to test that uh, investigation which is the OLS or the ordinary least square method <coughs> while other methods were neglected so I couldn't compare between the results of the different methods so thank you for listening <laughs>